Welcome to the most elaborate Academia Nightcrackers tutorial so far, inserting a hassle-free table of contents from styles to fields. In this video I want to introduce you to a number of important techniques. First, how to define a multi-level list. Second, how to assign styles, this includes some formatting. And third, how to build and insert a table of contents, or short TOC. Judging from the number of techniques alone, this most likely will be more complicated than just inserting a landscape page. But don't worry. I will guide you through each step and after a bit of practice you will manage all this with no problem. You will find that a lot of this information has been incorporated in my book The Ultimate Guide to Writing Scientific Thesis using Word 2007 available at www.academia-nutcrackers.com Let's begin with an outline of what we are going to do in this tutorial. We will learn how to define and use a multi-level list. It sounds easy but you should still pay attention to a few details to avoid headaches later. During this process, we will associate a quick style to each level, so that we can use each level with just one click. Finally, we will insert a table of contents. I have prepared a document that we will format using our obtained knowledge. In the appearing dialog, select the second option to update everything in the table, and not just the page numbers. Click OK. Now all the changes you have made to your headings have also appeared in the table of contents. Thank you for sticking with me for so long. If you like this video, please visit my page at www.academia-nutcrackers.com and register. I just opened the document called toc.docx that is included in the bonus archive for my ebook. You can download the bonus archive after registering at www.academia-nutcrackers.com. The goal of this tutorial is to assign a different level of a multi-level list and style to each of the four heading types that are included in this document. These headings will give your document a solid structure and will help you to build a proper table of contents, short TOC. To shorten this tutorial, I will not change the format of the paragraph text below the headings, as this has no impact on the TOC. The first page only contains the placeholder for the table of contents, so scroll to the second page. Place the cursor in the very first line, main heading 1. Let's start with the multi-level lists. In Word 2007 the button to insert a multi-level list is located in the home tab of the ribbon in the paragraph group. When you click on the button a menu appears with predefined suggestions. We could select one that has most formatting already in place, but I would like you to learn how to do it yourself. So instead we will define a new multi-level list where we can still do some work. Don't worry if your dialog looks slightly different. We will change most of the options here anyway. First let's see what we have here. In the main part you will see a draft of how your le level list will look like. Each of the bars represents one level of your list. The level that you are currently modifying is represented by two black bars. Additionally the level number will be highlighted in the number bar on the left. While you already have a few options to modify your list, we will need more options. Thus, click on the More button. The dialog has expanded to the right, and now we have all the tools that we need. The first thing that I like to do is to align all of the levels on the very left. After you feel more comfortable with formatting, you can change them as you like, of course. To achieve this, click on the Set for All Levels button. In the small dialog, set the additional indent for each level to zero. Click OK. You will see that the preview has changed accordingly. Now let's define the appearance for each level. Make sure you are first level. If not, click on the number one. Personally, I like to have dots after my numbers, so remove the brackets and type a dot instead. The numbering for the levels are shaded in grey and can also be deleted, so be careful. Now we will associate a style with this, the first level of the multi-level list. On the right, select Heading 1 from the Link Level to Style drop-down menu. Change the text indent to 0 0.2 inches. Increasing the indent per level by two, 0 0.2 inches is a good choice. 
Now every time the heading 1 style is used, it will be a part of the multi-level list. We will modify three more levels. You might find that your thesis or document requires more than four levels total. No problem. After this, you will be able to do it on your own. Select the second level of the list. I assume we always want to include the number of the previous level and a dot to separate these two numbers. The number will appear where the cursor was in the enter formatting for number text box. So make sure it is where you want it to be. I presume it's before level 2. Select level 1 from the include level number from drop down menu. Insert a dot. Now choose the regular numbers from the number style for this level drop down menu. Again delete the bracket and enter a dot. Change the text indent to 0.4 inches. We will associate heading 2 with this level. I will modify the next two levels without much of a narration, so you can see how quickly it can be done. I will set the text indent to 0.6 inches and choose heading 3 as a style. Now I will modify level 4. This time I will set the text indent to 0.8 inches and associate heading 4. Before I click OK, let's briefly summarize what we did. We created a multi-level list and modified the first four levels to our liking. Each level is now associated with a style so that formatting the document will be easy. The preview shows the list and how it will look like. Click OK. Main heading 1 has already been formatted with the heading 1 style. Now we have to format the remaining headings with the appropriate level of the multi-level list. Move the cursor to the subheading 1. In the Home tab of the ribbon locate the Styles group. It shows you a number of so-called quick styles that will change your text with a simple click. To see the effect, hover the mouse pointer over some styles and see the text change in real time. Click on Heading 2. Sub, subheading 1 has now become a part of the multi-level list. We will repeat this step for the sub-subheading 1 and the other headings, each time choosing the appropriate heading style and therefore also the correct level of the multi-level list. Like before, I will repeat these steps without much narration so you will see how quickly it can be done. Sub-subheading 1 will be associated with heading three style and sub 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 heading one will be associated with heading four style voila the biggest work is done now the actual table of contents is only a few clicks away Switch to the References tab in the ribbon. Now scroll to the very first page. Click where it says click here to insert a TOC. Click on the Table of Contents button. As tempting as it is to select one of the predefined TOCs, we will go to the menu route once again. Select Insert Table of Contents. To make this quick, we will only change the number of levels to show to 4, since we have 4 levels of our headings. If you later want to modify the layout of this table of contents, 
either click on the modify or the options button but I won't go into details in this tutorial. Now click OK. You're done. You have success successfully inserted a table of contents for a well-structured document. Since a table of content is nothing else but a field, you will have to update it if you want to make changes. The easiest way to do this is click anywhere within the TOC and press the F9 key. In the appearing dialog, select the second option to update everything in the table and not just the page numbers. Click OK. Now all the changes you have made to your headings have also appeared in the table of contents. Thank you for sticking with me for so long. If you like this video, please visit my page at www.academia-nutcrackers.com and register.